And I love what you talk about around you know, psychic abilities being normal, being a part of our human capabilities. It is part of our, our faculty, you know, conscious and right. you know, consciousness standpoint. And, and everyone can work with that. It's not just for people who, you know, see spirits or, or have, you know, even more heightened, you know, psychic abilities. Everyone can start to access some of these very natural gifts. And it sounds like you, you know, you work with people on that level to help just turn on what, what is already there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there's really two types of people that come to me. There's one that's having the sudden psychic opening or the sudden spiritual opening. And they are like, oh, my God, this is happening. And I need to I need a little help to turn it off. Yeah. You know? And then I have other people who are who are wanting to turn it on. They're like, whoa, what is happening? You know, I'm, I'm hearing things, I'm seeing things, or I'm getting, you know, in intuition about, you know, things in my life that then are coming true. You know, how do you guide someone in that process to make it not overwhelming and to help them integrate all of that? Yeah, that's a great question. And I, I find there's a couple of things usually we have to do is sort of address the fears, mm. you know, that fear mm. is something that comes up a lot um, right away for people. And um, kind of talking that through, working that through, and then examining what they are. Like maybe we're afraid we're going crazy. We're afraid other people are going to think we're, uh, you know, we're going crazy. Um, we're, or we're going to see bad things. A lot of people had really psychic childhoods. We do some. We do. I always say yoga, Reiki, meditation. These are the trifecta of activities that we do that open our psychic ability you know and so you do a little yoga you, you do some meditation you do you get trained in reiki and all of a sudden the skills you pushed in away when you were a child sort of re-bloom you know and i think it's a beautiful thing because i believe there's purpose to it all there it's meant to be part of our toolkit it's part of our life purpose to guide us through our own life and also assist uh, help us assist other people in all the ways that we do that so i think we have to work through fear you know what were you afraid of when it came up for you you know i think what you said about being afraid of one being crazy and then two what are other people going to think those were the two big ones yeah. for me you know and especially yeah. coming from a a mainstream career in corporate america where i was a leader for so many years then mm -hmm needing, needing, you know, at a soul level to really step into who am I, you know, who am I truly and to honor what was happening and to not just shun it. That was a big journey of shedding that fear. So that's spot on from my experience. Yeah, yeah. 